A local family faces a tough decision as water resources tap out in southern Colorado. With people flooding into nearby communities, 13 investigates is finding out utilities are struggling to keep up with the sprawling demand. KRDO News Channel 13 investigative reporter Lauren Barnes is live near Pikes Peak International Raceway in Fountain, where getting water has become a serious issue. Lauren. Bart, Heather, Jessica Wolfel's family has a fountain address, but they live south of city limits. Those miles that separate them from the city are creating a world of challenges in getting access to clean water. It's forcing us out of our home. After six years in Midway, the Wolfel family is weighing whether or not they can continue to live in their home here as affordable water options dry up. We're going to have to move and we own this place. Um, so you know, we're kind of down to last resort here. Because they don't live in Fountain City limits, the Wolfels can't receive fountain water. Same goes for Pueblo. The family says Wigwam to the south quoted $50,000 for a water tap and pipes to their home. Unable to foot that hefty bill, they pay Cory Transport to truck in water from Pueblo at $85 per 1,000 gallons. We can only afford 2,000 gallons a month. Um, so we spend about 165, 70. 13 investigates dug up data from the U.S. Department of the Interior showing a family of three like the Wolfels uses an average of at least 7,000 gallons of water per month. And it's even sad sometimes because I have a 13 year old daughter that lives with us and she, I have to tell her no sometimes to getting a shower. Meanwhile, the Fountain Utilities Department is evaluating how it can accommodate thousands of new tap requests within city limits. Water, especially in, in the Front Range of Colorado, is, is a very limited you know, commodity. The city of Fountain provides water to 8,700 taps right now. A recent study revealed a way to improve the delivery system, gaining access to about 1,000 more taps within the next two years. But Fountain Utilities calculated the demand for new taps across all proposed development projects. It's more than three times the current supply. They would almost re require uh, 30,000 taps. A separate study expected to be complete this fall is investigating alternative water sources. And it's not just water. The Fountain Utilities Director says cities will have to figure out a way to keep gas and electric infrastructure up to speed with the growing population. Reporting live south of Fountain, Lauren Barnes, 13 Investigates.